Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about the new Creative Director's Letter. Glorious Ashes Community We have passed the halfway point of 2020, writes Stephen. Development for Ashes of Creation is continuing steadily with significant progress. Keywords there are significant progress. That's good. Testing began this last quarter to prepare the Alpha 1 client for its debut. That's another good thing. If you think they're just sitting around eating popsicles and picking their toes, they're testing Alpha 1. People are in the game, they're playing it, and that's good. I'm glad because I'm in Alpha 2 and I don't want to see all kinds of bugs and stuff. Get them out of there right now. I am happy to announce that we will be expanding the testing group starting in August to include the Leader of Men pack holders. Pack holders will receive separate emails near the end of July with download links and instructions. Okay, so if you're a leader of men, you're in. I am not one. In real life, yes, but not in this game. We have also successfully moved out of our old studio. Keywords there are moved out. They already moved out. They're gone. They think they're going to move in by August or September, but that depends on the politicians and how they handle the crisis and everything else. While the pandemic has not yet significantly impacted the development schedule of Ashes, it does present some difficulties in onboarding additional team members. They're having a hard time hiring people. They always have, but especially right now. I don't know how I feel about that. On the art side, continues to move forward. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yes, we know. We love the art team. We love it. On the engineering side, a strong focus has been made in optimizing server performance, download, and the patching process of the game client. That's good. I've heard people complain about all of that stuff. <laughs> Steven complains about server performance. Uh, I complain about the download taking forever. And I've heard another person complain about the patching process. I'm glad they're fixing all that stuff. The quality assurance team has also been hard at work in cataloging bug reports for the developers to address, which is very good because when I get in there in Alpha 2, a lot of bugs will be gone. That means my game will be more fun than the Alpha 1 people's games. Design has been tirelessly focused on implementation of significant features of the node system, the population of the world, the fleshing out of the Archetypes Ability System and the Placeholder Questing and Economy System that will be available in Alpha 1. As I mentioned earlier in the development, many of the Alpha 1 and some of the Alpha 2 content will be placeholder in an attempt to keep the experience of beta and launch unspoiled. Okay, so uh, people want the node system. The population of the world, I want that because I want a lot of people in there. And Archetype Ability System is something a lot of people are interested in, and they're working on that. What's interesting is they have placeholder quests in an economy. So the quests and the prices for goods and things, services, are not going to be real. They're just in there for the meantime, because they don't want you to see what the real stuff is going to be like until we get to the beta. So the quests and stuff, they're fake. So don't freak out if the quests are boring. Finally, starting in July, we will resume updates to the available pre-order packages with the new skins, and you can expect an announcement of those to follow. Alright, so the cosmetic shop is open for business this July, right now. The special commemorative trophy that I'm about to show you in a second, it will be discontinued on September the 7th, 2020. So if you haven't signed up on the Ashes of Creation website, you should do that now, right? after this video, or even right now during the video. I'll give you my referral link at the end of the show. If you could uh, type that in when you sign up, that would help me out a lot. And then Steven says a bunch of stuff like, I am constantly reading our Discord, forums, Reddit, and the content created by the community. And I like that. I like that Steven's part of the community. I know that he watches this show because uh, either that or I'm like paranoid. And uh, that's good. It's good that he's keeping in touch with everybody and everything. And that's the end of the letter.
and then he goes on to thank everyone and wish everyone a happy 4th of July. No, Stephen, thank you. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, I guess, feel free to subscribe. I have a sweepstakes coming up soon. It's a surprise. I didn't even know I was doing it until this morning. And I'll see you in the next show. Oh, here's my referral link. Don't forget about that.